Hi, hello, this is Aitor Gotti, lecturer at the University of Deusto. Welcome to the subject Technical Office. Let me use these slides to briefly introduce the topic. Ok, let's go on. The following introduction will consider a presentation of the subject, of its context. We will focus on the topics to be faced in the program and uh, we will locate the subject by itself within a wider framework which is project management but we will differentiate between project management and technical office. And uh, finally, we will include or comment on all the topics which will not be approached in the subject but are part of this uh, project management world. Continuing with the introduction, we can say that the scope of technical office comprises the beginning to end definition of a project considering the analysis, a specification, planning and budgeting of a single project. As this subject is a part of an engineering degree, uh, the examples and key points developed will consider mainly uh, examples of engineering and uh, situations related to engineering cases. And uh, continuing with the topics to be approached, uh, the list starts with some vocabulary, basic concepts, definitions, just to put in common uh, what we understand uh, uh, about certain words. Uh, after that, we will move on to the world of the specifications. Our uh, customers will try to describe their needs uh, in normally in non-quantitative manners and our work will be to make a translation of these concepts into something specific and measurable. Uh, example given, uh, last thing that somebody wants something noisy. We must translate this noisy word into something uh, with the sound higher than 100 dBs, for example. And uh, as you can see in the next three ballots of the list, uh, we'll uh, work on quality and uh, more specifically we'll focus on legal requirements, uh, quality demands, checks, inspections, how to develop them and how to implement a quality plant. plan. As you can notice, we will continue with environmental requirements and uh, as you can notice uh, in news, uh, environmental needs uh, are gaining widespread acceptance and are being uh, uh, presented, uh, are present in more and more projects. So, concerning uh, environmental requirements, we'll talk about in which situation it is, for instance, eh, mandatory to, to make an env environmental analysis eh, prior to the uh, execution of the project. After that, we'll talk about project planning, how to plan, how to make work packages, and we'll work on a, a project planning software. Uh, with, a, with a tutorial and after that you will implement certain features of that project management software. And last but not least, regarding the topics to be, to be faced, uh, we'll discuss uh, the key points of the management of projects co-funded or funded by public incomes or public projects as uh, regulations, uh, at least in the European Union, are common, uh, are almost equal in all of the countries. Then, after these topics uh, presented, uh, we will focus uh, or we will locate the subject project uh, uh, technical office uh, in uh, the world of project management. It is a typical mistake uh, of, uh, of us and of the students to, to think that uh, if we know about a part of our world, we know the whole world, the whole cake. Uh, the technical office talks about project management, but project management is quite a wider discipline. Uh, we will comment on certain details that are within the world of project management and are out of the scope of these subjects. As indicated in the introduction, Technical Office will go, will go deep into detail in the analysis, specification, planning and budgeting of a single project. But what happens with the execution? We won't uh, emphasize in the execution in our subject.
What happens with the control? Almost equally, we will briefly talk about control, specifically in the project management software area, uh, but we will not uh, be specialized in this area. What about finalization or closure of projects? It's, it's just the same. We will not enter this topic. And finally, as, st as stated, we will talk about single project environments. Then, what happens with the iteration of our project with other projects? What happens with the multi-project environment? We will not face it for the moment. And not only that, uh, uh, continuing with the known approach related topics, we can say that the management of multi-project environment has certain routines, certain disciplines, and we will not tackle them. Uh, the application of the principles of the critical chain, which is a very interesting methodology for managing projects, will not be presented. We will not prepare you for the obtention of a certification, such as the PMI certification or the IJPM certification. We will uh, show that there are some certifications available, and, uh, but we will not prepare you for them. And, of course, there are other topics that we'll, we haven't commented, but there are in the market, and we will leave them for the next session we have in common. Anyway, we will uh, work in many areas, and I am sure you will enjoy them. Let's see if you enjoy them. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Keep in touch.